There. Welcome to a slightly different randomizer. Here's the deal. I uh, have five wheels set up here. Uh, the idea is to take the entirety of the AC3, shove it in a blender, and try to beat it that way. So, first off, uh, this is the first of the wheels, uh, going to be the outer frame, so all of the base frame plus the boosters and FCS, insides and outsides, so uh, essentially generator, uh, radiator, insides and extensions, and then arms, which are all the weapons. Uh, the optional parts are entirely freeform, so I can do whatever I want with them. Um, randomizing them didn't really seem to make anything more fun, it just made it a little bit annoying when I couldn't use the lockbox extender. And uh, yeah, then have the missions and arena. So, uh, da -da -da, probably don't need this up. Nope. And eventually I will find the window I'm looking for. There we go. Bam. Now we're back to AC3. So, right off the bat, here's the rules. Uh, essentially, I do this by rounds. Uh, what I consider a round is any mission or arena fight. Now, uh, first round, there will be three randomizes, uh, or randoms, whatever, three randoms per each, uh, each of those three wheels. Uh, to sort of build up a starter EC that looks completely dumb tarted. Actually, in testing, I had uh, I had one that managed to somehow not be able to regen energy whatsoever, which I didn't even think was possible in three. But go figure. Turns out the uh, spirit plus a bunch of extraneous stuff plus energy shields plus uh, a bunch of other goodies tends to drain a little bit. Uh, anyhow. So, it's three for the first round, and then from there on, uh, upon the completion of any mission or arena fight, it's one more per each one, so that it isn't, you know, it isn't changing too drastically, but it's enough to make a difference. Now, there's the choice, each, after each roll, to go do a mission or arena fight. Uh, mostly this is due to the fact that some fights will technically still be possible in the arena, you know, they may be very possible in the arena, um, like for example, if you wind up with an energy shield and a Mars blade, and two radars on your back. There's a chance you can go kill Little Bear. There is no chance you're ever going to be able to... Oops. Say, for example... Uh, well, I guess there's a lot of them you could do. But you would never win the crossback fight. Which is kind of hilarious, because there's no excuse to ever lose the crossback fight. But, uh, yeah, you only have four shots. There's much more than four things to hit. So it would simply not be practical. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Let's get this started. I think I've rambled on enough. Alright, got the gale arms. I like them. Some nice cooling right off the bat. Don't even need a radiator, as if those things were even needed before. Uh, second frame part. The uni booster. It's a very slight adjustment. Actually, it's a non-adjustment because it is the exact same booster I already have. And then lastly... The 004 head. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Which one's a 004? This one. Alright. <clears throat> Could be better. It'll work. Alright, give me a good generator. A radiator, SA-77. Well, it won't be overheating too much. Or at all. Uh, next one. Inside RC-30. Are those... What are you again? Alright, ECM disruptor thingies. And then the terrier extension. Alright, that could put out some pretty good damage. Take it. Uh, now, arms. <laughs> wonderful. It's a broy on the right, so that's the crappy parry blade. Actually, no, it's the mid tier one. Alright, I can do I can work with that. I was thinking Sabrox. Back vertical missile. Okay. Fantastic. I think. I'm going to replace the radar with that one. Yeah, I was thinking to include the option of foregoing a roll to go and, you know, replace a part. Which, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and... No, I'm going to leave that because I can just purge stuff. I don't need to replace them in the build screen. Okay, so that's two. And then the third one... Basic shield for the arm. Hmm. That sucks. Lost the blade. Okay. So say hello to Rando Bob here. Now let's give him, a, give him a bit of a color scheme here. Why on earth is it giving me lag now? 
There we go. See if that works works out a little bit better. Um, yeah, let's go for this awful toothpaste color. There we go. That's that's an eyesore right there. Uh, this is definitely arena based. There's no question about that. So let's go to the arena. Who are we fighting? C12. Is C12. Isn't that Clayson? Uh, not even close to Clayson, actually. That is bad brain. Alright. Um, I don't think I'm gonna randomize the maps. Because then it could be parking garage and I don't want to end up completely screwed over something like that. I'm just gonna include some options. Alright. I'm gonna deal with the overweightness for now. I don't know how overweight I am. Uh, overheat him. Oh, actually, I'm not overweight anymore. Got my optionals. Crap. Got a good thing going here, too. I'm not died at the lack of optionals. Screw it. Just, uh. Do it this way. Oh, wait, these are the ECM rockets. Crap. Not the pods at all. In that case. Can't run much from this guy. Thankfully, he doesn't seem to want to dodge much. Right. Hmm. Maybe I can run up and parry him. That nailed him. It's gonna burn me. Screw it. No, I'm not gonna get close at all. Had a chance there. Missed it. It's fine. Once the verticals are gone, I'll try to finish him with a parry, probably. Defensive rockets. Nope. Missed it. Just, just missed it, and I can't afford another overheat, so... Back off. I just stuck to the same strategy I was using. I can't let him get a... get a heads up on me here. And boned, unless I can... There we go. Suck it. Ah. <sighs> Alright, so while that's loading up... Uh, three more randoms... They okay, got the double pancake FCS... EM-15s on the inside, and the back spread rockets. Alright. First things first, let's get that double pancake going. I like this thing, it's fine. Which ones were they? EM-15s? Okay. There's just the basic ECM pods, and then... Rockets. Now, these are gonna be... F yeah, no. These are the ones to replace, for sure. No question on that. This still feels like a very arena build to me. So I think I'm gonna continue going for one of those. Alright. Who's next, Arena Rando? D8. Good. There's still a lot of crappy things in the arena, so I'm not too worried about friggin' uh, getting ace or something. I, I'd be the most worried about um, about getting Cypress, but whatever. Right. Um. Well, time to die then, I guess. Uh, alright. I'm gonna completely get rid of my main damage advantage here. Go for something like this. I probably could have gone for the desert. Alright. Here. ECMs. I'm hoping to do ECMs, blades, and rockets with this guy. 
Dumb. Alright. We can't seem to lock onto me, that's fine. I forgot my optionals again, like a chump. out there. You can forget what he's doing. Nope. Get with those freaking mines, man. Yeah, I'm done. <sighs> Alright, well, just needed to get a parry in, but it didn't quite happen. There we go, that's the end of run one, unfortunately. It was very winnable if I had just remembered to put my optional parts in. I swear, when people say, when, well, when people tell me that it seems like I have Alzheimer's sometimes, good lord, they're correct. Uh, yeah, so, bummer. Try again next time.